days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Libra this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 8th of January until the 14th of January 2018. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Seven of Wands. You have to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Eight of Wands. What do you want most right now is quick movement, rapid progress and completion of your projects. You can look forward to the rapid completion of a project that is currently underway but you can also expect to be occupied by something new and even more exciting and inspiring very soon. There really is no stopping you right now as you are just bursting with energy and ideas, and cannot wait to achieve one task in order to start another. To maximize this energy. It is important to ensure that your activities are focused on your broader goals and that you are investing in the right things at the right time. Also, make sure that before you move to the next task, your previous task is complete. This card is a sign to strike while the iron is hot. It is most definitely an action-oriented card that encourages you to move quickly to pursue the best opportunities available right now. 
There is no waiting around while the Eight of Wands is present so determine where your energy will be directed and get on with it. Often, the Eight of Wands suggests air travel. It is more likely to be a short-term or whirlwind trip, such as a business trip or holiday. You may even enjoy being part of a tour group that visits 10 countries in as many days. On the downside, the Eight of Wands denotes haste and rapid advancement of a situation which may result in the wrong decisions being made. It will be important to have all your resources available to be used in your best interests. Be mindful not to rush into things without having a clear plan of where you are heading. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Five of Swords. You are afraid of the outcome of the conflict in your life. You really just want this period of fighting to be over, so that you can forgive and forget, and then focus your energies on more constructive activities such as restoring your relationship back to normal. The conflict is becoming upsetting now and you realize that there can only be losers in this battle. You now just want to put this behind you and move on. There is a conflict in your life that you have tried to walk away from but which continues to follow you. For example, there may still be an ex in your life who is making things difficult and who may be preventing you from moving on to new relationships. So long as there is conflict, tension and raw emotion at play, avoid this person or situation. There is an old wound that has been reopened and you are experiencing fear and tension associated with that memory. You may be particularly worried that history might repeat itself or that you could be hurt again. Aim to forgive and forget so that you can indeed move on. There may also be some residual resentment following a recent or past argument with someone close to you. You have had some very challenging and heated conversations together and you still harbor some negative emotion from these discussions. This may still be unresolved and unaddressed and this in itself is impacting your ability to create a harmonious relationship. At times, it may be appropriate to disregard the opinions of others. Sometimes you just cannot please everyone and unfortunately there may be some friendships lost along the way. Sadly, not everyone is going to be as accommodating of your desire to pursue your own goals, particularly if it impacts on them and their ability to live their life the way they want to. What you will have to accept is that you cannot please everyone and there are going to be people who are annoyed that you cannot be there for them as much as in the past. They will just need to deal with this and get over it. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you? Your card is the Seven of Pentacles. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. If you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months, and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. You might have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concerned that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. Be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. This card follows the Six of Pentacles which indicated the ending of a difficult period of financial or material difficulty. In the Seven of Pentacles, you are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. 
it is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The Seven of Pentacles may therefore represent fear of failure, delays and frustration. However, the positive side to it is that you are more likely to be learning from these setbacks and evaluating how you can better invest your time to create the most value. In order to avoid feelings of frustration, ensure that you review your progress to date at regular intervals, particularly when engaged in long-term or enduring work, so that you can review what is working well and what is not and where you can make adjustments. Make sure that you are on course and that you are on track to achieve your goals. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the eight of pentacles. Your perfectionism has become a barrier to your success. You will have to let go of the smoothness and predictability of doing what you have mastered, and be willing to make a fool of yourself all over again. You are working very hard on something but it is not leading to the desired outcome, leading to frustration and disappointment with the lack of success and progress. Sometimes, we can focus in on improving a part of ourselves or trying to fix something, only to find that all that effort is just going on the wrong things. You may be honing in on minute details that are not important to the overall workings of your life. Instead, you need to look at the bigger picture and ask yourself whether this is the right direction for you at this time. How can you bring your attention out of the detail and to the overall picture here? Are you working on the right things, or is there a major part that you are missing? Return to the energy of the Seven of Pentacles and reprioritize and invest in those activities that will lead to the greatest return. The Eight of Pentacles can also indicate a time when you are lacking the ambition, engagement or dedication to see your work through. You are too wrapped up in everyday concerns and worries to take the time out to gain more long-term security. Instead most of your energies are wasted pursuing short-term gains and rewards. Continuing to toil at the same work is not going to get you where you want to be. This might be fine for some people but for you to get anywhere in your current profession, you might actually have to go back and get some additional skills and possibly even take a pay cut while doing so, rather than trying to look for minor improvements in what you are already doing. This card suggests completely thinking out of the box. Look for something unrelated to what you have been doing, for example, starting your own business or entering an entirely new field of work. Look for something new. The time is right for you to change directions. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Six of Pentacles. If you are the wealthy person, then you have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. 
this will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The Bard. This card represents music, storytelling, and the passing of truths, myths, and legends from generation to generation through the spoken word or song. In ancient Avalon, the traditions and stories of the people were gathered on leaves that served as letters in a living alphabet and were tended in vast, long houses. Here the druids and priestesses came to read and weave the stories of magic and the sacred relationship to the god, goddess and the mystery. Those schooled in the art of music and storytelling were given the task of informing their world and keeping the stories of their culture alive. They were given the name of Bard. When the Bard appears, you're asked to seek answers in your personal history. Go back into your own story and find the threads of the patterns in your reality, and trace their length to the present. Perhaps you'll be surprised by how much of your past, or that of your ancestors, still weaves its influence on you today. When the Bard appears, he asks you to retrieve the stories woven in the past. Perhaps you need to learn about the history of someone, or something important to your inquiry. The seeds of the future are always hidden in the soil of the past. It's time to dig a little to find the clarity you need. Don't be afraid to learn the patterns of history. The only way to honor them or change them is to know them. Perhaps it's time to listen to music and allow yourself to be carried into the land of memory and listen for its messages as the strings of your soul are strummed by the hand of the divine. Remember that the bard appears to help you stay in tune with the all that is. You are music, and your story is sung in the heavens. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.